Hello. Uh, it's an honour and a delight to be here. I'm starting with a poem of mine. Um, it's set in Brixton, South London, where I've lived since 1999, um, after having made a slightly epic migratory journey um, across the River Thames, <laughs> from <laughs> North London to South. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, one of the things that um, I really love about Brixton, which is sort of, I suppose, a bit surprising, perhaps, is that it's actually very green. And um, Brixton Hill um, is, a, is a hill of two halves, in a way. I mean, on one side, you've got all these amazing chicken shops and barbers open till 2 a.m. with bass booming out and mosques and churches and just general busyness. And on the other side, you've got Rush Common. And Rush Common is a kind of remnant from the enclosures. Um, and it's, um, it used to run alongside the River Ephra, um, which thankfully now is not sort of above ground because I think it was a bit stinky. But anyway, <laughs> um, but even before it got stinky, um, people used to sort of make rush baskets there. <clears throat> um, so this poem is set on Brixton Hill, up on the hill. A young Bulgarian comes to clear the old mattress and carpet out of the bedroom asks if spring always arrives so early here. The Forsythe is not out yet, so things must be as they should be. There's an order to the colours. Snowdrop, daffodil yellow, forget-me-not, brash, sunset, dahlia. Up on the hill, by the edge of Rush Common, where tree-fall debris mingles with bottle tops, discarded socks, and the crows poke at the mud. The wrens are nocturnal now, so their song might be heard over the babble of traffic rumbling uphill like a brook, inexplicably flowing backwards. They sing, these birds, to the souls drifting up above the smoke. You can only see from a distance, brown and insistent as the river. On nights when we walk, lips purple with wine, past the 24-hour shop, arguing about who said what and nothing that matters. Um, I don't think there's enough poems about scaffolding in the world. <laughs> so um, uh, this, is, this is a poem about scaffolding. My dad's, um, my dad's a scaffolder. Um, I've started writing a series of poems about about him really and the, and the job um, it doesn't sound like a very auspicious subject but um, this, this poem is about the kind of damage to the body of doing a physical job from the age of 16 to he's 63 now so he's supposed to be retiring soon but I don't think he will The Scaffolder He says his hands are the worst he's lost his grip Years of working without gloves when he was young. He'd wait for the hot aches, then the pins and needles. And once they'd come, he knew he'd be all right, could work all day, and his hands would just stay numb. Now the cold turns the ends of his fingers white. His first fall from a house roof, he swears the building shrugged him off. A broken hip, and when it set, one leg shorter than the other, backache for 30 years. And who's to say it wasn't luck the second time that dropped him 30 feet and gave him broken ribs, a knock to the head that made his temper strange. Sometimes when he picks things up, they drop. The other day it was a cup, just slipped right through his fingers. The last time he fell, he thought he was done. But there's always the sky that whispers, up, go up. 